Hey out there, this is Johnny. I'm live from my mother's basement. And this video is going to be more of a serious topic. You know, if you don't like serious topical videos and you just come here for the not so much comedy and just the ranting, then please leave. As the title suggests, this one probably won't be very pretty. Obviously, I live in New York State. Um, I spend a lot of time with my girlfriend who lives in Massachusetts. It doesn't get much more East Coast than that, and uh, unless you've been living in a rock, you know, you don't have internet access and can't watch this video, you would know that Hurricane Sandy is destroying property, lives, and essentially everything in its path since its onset. I don't know, what was it, Category 500 Hurricane? Um, they call it Frankenstorm. It's ridiculous. It's been blowing stuff here since last night. Um, thankfully, we haven't lost power because all the fucking trees came down with last year's hurricane. Um, there's flooding everywhere, all the way up the river. Any low-lying areas are, you know, their whole basements are compromised and might rot out the whole house from underneath. It's it's really scary, you know, that here in town you can't drive down to, you know, the riverside area because it's all up. There there is no river anymore. It's just <coughs> everywhere. So I you know, I wake up, you see my eyes are still bleary, I can hardly fucking see. Uh and one of the first things that I read on Facebook when I'm trying to check in with everybody um, by the way, Nature Girl 30, uh, Dustin Herendine there, Dreamboy899, um, and the Sandman channel, I can never pronounce or think of the, the Isla R the Sandman, something, I don't know. Anyway, bro, thanks to everybody for, you know, your concern and for the prayers. Um, I'm still in one piece, but I can't say that much for everybody else, and you know, lots of other people, even Alex Riley, who was wishing everybody on the Northeast, you know, to be safe. This is a big fucking deal. This isn't like some joke storm, like, <laughs> remember when that hit and nothing happened? No, this is fucking ridiculous. And, you know, if there's one thing that I can't stand, it's somebody that makes fun of another human being, especially one that's in need or, you know, somebody that might have died because of a freak storm but we all know where storms come from storms are a part of erratic weather and weather happens because there's a lot of excess energy such as from the burning of fossil fuels that we've done for I don't know how many years now and it gets up into the atmosphere and the energy has nowhere to go so what it does is it causes heat and which contributes to global warming and if you don't believe in the global warming thing Apparently you've never taken science class before, and that's okay, because I'm not talking to you particularly. I'm just trying to explain this whole thing across the board. You've got a lot of excess energy up there, and the only way for the Earth to release it, which it never really does, because you can't destroy energy, you can only change the form of it, is to have this increasingly bad weather all the time, which is only going to get worse as long as we continue to inhabit this planet. But seeing as I don't think we're going to be at Star Trek anytime soon and exploring the galaxy on a big super star base, we're going to have to deal with it. You know, we had Hurricane Katrina. It was one of the worst hurricanes ever. Um, I've lived, you know, my life of 28, almost 29 years, and I've seen lots of hurricanes come through and hit America. But just think back. Think about the fucking tsunami that hit Southeast Asia. Ridiculous, right? all that death and destruction. Think about, you know, the the earthquake that we had in Japan. I mean, that was terrible, too. That might not be anything other than fault lines under the earth, but there's a lot of energy coming out of the earth, and we're not doing anything to help it. Um, anyway, the point of that is that whenever anybody makes fun of a situation like that, it's a terrible thing. You know, I'm not going to poke fun and say, ha, 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 all those people that got hit by the hurricane fucking deserved it, whatever, ha, 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 ha. 
That's stupid. I'm right in its path. I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Even somebody that I extremely dislike, I wouldn't wish that they go out into the middle of a hurricane and drown. Or, you know, get swept away or whatever. It's foolish. It's stupid. It doesn't do anything to advance the human race. So I'm trying to get on Facebook and I'm trying to deal with, you know, did anybody lose power? Is everybody okay? Do I need to go and, you know, help whomever in my own community or go to the next town over maybe and do something? Do I need to donate to a food drive or a coat drive or something? I want to make sure all my family and friends are all right. I, you know, even if people that I don't know, if I haven't had it on Facebook, you know, because we're in the same communities about, you know, loving dogs and dachshunds and whatever. Or maybe some of the docks and shelters need relief. Whatever. I get on there and I look and I see what needs to be done. And then I see a post from... Hang on, let me be very accurate here. Very, very accurate. Just the group on Facebook called Gay Rights. And if you don't think that gays are human beings and have rights, then this probably isn't the video for you. And I encourage you to stop right now, because if you try to slander this video just because it's defending gay rights, then you're an idiot. Just straight up, you're an idiot. We live in a fucking time where we should realize that Martin Luther King didn't die for any reason other than to try to advance the human race and to take the prejudice and the blindness and all the bullshit that's caused us to be separate and not united throughout all the years just because of somebody's sexual preference because it's hurting you right because you're the one getting fucked in the ass no actually it's the gay people getting fucked in the ass but not because they want to be but because they're denied basic human rights so if that's not something you want to hear just go just please leave I don't want to have to deal with deleting all your dumb comments on this thing hating on me because I function at a capacity of intelligence that's a little bit higher than all the hatred that's out there. Anyway, getting back to the fucking point, because this is something that really pissed me off. You've got Pastor John McTurnan. Now, I didn't know anything about Pastor John McTurnan, so I went and looked it up a little bit, and apparently, Pastor John McTurnan is blaming Hurricane Sandy on President Obama, President, um, you know, the not president, but uh, aspiring president, Mitt Romney, if I can get my thoughts together. I'm very angry. And uh, homosexuals. This is quite the quite the eye-opening experience if you read this. Um, he's from Defend and Proclaim the Faith Ministries. First of all, I didn't know that faith needed to be defended. I didn't think anybody was attacking faith. If you think that the atheists are out there that are trying to just uproot everything and burn Bibles and stuff, they're really not. Actually, atheists tend to be kind of pacifistic and just want to get on with their life and not be involved in all the drama that comes with religion. Look, man, I'm a religious person. I believe in God, the Father, Almighty, Creator of Heaven and Earth, blah, 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 whatever. I know the creed, man. I went through a lot of that growing up, and it was a family thing. I went with my grandmother and it really helped everybody in that family become closer and tighter. And I understand that nobody's perfect, and I'm really not. I never said that I was, I never claimed to be. I really don't think that I'm better than anybody else. So, this is a really shit portrayal of what faith is. This guy is using God and hiding behind the Bible, which really doesn't preach all that much hate if you actually read it for context. He's just taking quotes out that he wants to select and just just to hate just for no reason other than to bring people together for the purpose of hating it's really it's like the Westboro Baptist Church down in Florida it's what the fuck is the point I mean it's like the Ku Klux Klan just burn crosses on people's yards just to hate you know oh, the black people are ruining this country you brought them here idiot your fucking ancestors are the ones that had boats and had fucking plantations now you're mad So here's the thing. So in this article, he said that uh, McTernan reportedly wrote on his blog, if you add the area of the drought and now the hurricane together, it would be about 80% of the country. As I said, the holy God of Israel 
is systematically destroying America right before our eyes. Okay, that's kind of doom and gloom. You don't think that it's just weird weather? You think that God is actually going to destroy the human race? To each his own. All right, if, it, if that was the comment, whatever. You can be paranoid, schizophrenic, and that's okay. It's the next part of this that really digs under my skin. Just last August, Hurricane Isaac hit New Orleans seven years later on the exact day of Hurricane Katrina. So, seven years to the anniversary of two hurricanes, exact area. Because it's not on the Gulf Coast where a lot of that hot weather meets cold weather meets, you know, different jet streams and whatever. No, that couldn't possibly cause it to be a hot spot. That's why Florida gets hit all the time with hurricanes. But both of them hit during the week of the homosexual event called Southern Decadence in New Orleans. Really? Because you get hurricanes in hurricane season? That's going to be your argument. Awesome. McTurnan added, It appears that God gave America 21 years to repent of interfering with his prophetic plan for Israel. However, it has gotten worse under all the presidents, and especially Obama. Obama is 100% behind the Muslim Brotherhood, which has vowed to destroy Israel and take Jerusalem. Okay, so blame it on the president. The hurricane is caused by some kind of foreign policy that Obama could support or not. Seeing as every time I see the president on television, he's always talking about defending Israel. That's fine. He also attacked Mitt Romney as well. Okay, so nobody's safe apparently from this idiot's prejudice or, you know, sick point of view. Uh, both candidates are pro-homosexual and are behind the homosexual agenda. America is under political judgment, and the church does not know it. Well, yeah, okay. Look, if you're going to look like the love child between Rick Moranis and uh, Fahrenheit 9-11 there, I forget his name, the director, um, and maybe they had a three-way with Peter Jackson, not that I'm hating you for how you look, but you look ridiculous. And I think that inside your brain is upset about how you look. Because not only do you physically have all the characteristics of looking like a douche, but then the vomit that you spit out about hatred and blaming a hurricane on gay people and uh, political figures. Are you living in, you know, 5000 BC before we had, you know, a lot of accurate science that could tell you why weather happens? You're just spreading stupidity and hatred. And anybody that thinks about going and following your dumb ass needs to have a statement. It's I'm serious. Like, I'm really tired of being driven by hate, and I honestly don't like saying these words about these people, but it, it's so fucktarded that it's just at a level that I can't stand anymore. I really wish that the internet would just disappear and all these people would cut themselves off from society and go form an island where it's just them and their beliefs. Because that's the bullshit and the toxicity that's pervading into the younger generations and creating more haters. Why don't you morons just go build your own moon colony or some shit and get out of here? What the rest of us that have intelligence and that can get along with other fucking people, no matter race, creed, sexual preference, fucking ability or not, being handicapped, like, come on, go. I've talked on this channel, you know, many a times about, you know, stopping the bullying and stuff in the wrestling community, but it far exceeds that. Stop it on the internet community. Stop it in your own community. Do something where you can be proud of being a human being, you know, and live in peace with other human beings. Gee, that's not what God would have wanted. No, no, Mr. McTernan, that's not it at all. He wants us to smite our foes even though you're an American living here and you're not an Israelite and it's, I don't know, how many fucking thousands of years after the Bible was conceived of and written I'm not saying that I doubt the goodness that's written in the Bible because there's, there's quite a bit of that but there's also bullshit and foolery and stuff that you just can't go by especially in today's world because it's a changing world and you have to have a changing brain 
to keep up with the changing world. So if you want to have a holy textbook, that's fine. You know what? I think I've got one back here somewhere. Hang on. I'll, I'll show you. Uh, well, that's embarrassing. That's just Dragon Lance. Yeah, it's in one of these bins over here, and I'm not about to dig it out. You know why? Because the Bible was written thousands of years ago in a fucking language that hardly anybody speaks anymore. Because all those Hebrews and shit, yeah, they speak English now. It's true. You know, the amount of English-speaking people in the world is actually very high. Hardly anybody speaks Hebrew anymore. The, you know, what the Bible was originally written in. And really, if you're doing that, then you're somebody that's totally an Orthodox Jew, and the Bible isn't for you, because the Bible is about Christians and their beliefs. Sure, we share an Old Testament, but the Torah and the Bible are really, really different. It's, it's important to remember that. And it's important to remember that the Bible has gone through different translations years after years after years. Like, you know, there's the King James version of the Bible, which was in England, which was written when King James wanted to break apart from the, the, the Roman Catholic Church. So if you're Protestant, sometimes you go off, off of that one. But if you're still a Catholic, you go off of a completely different Bible. So this is, you know, if you're talking about unity and religious faith and how it's you know, important to build a better society, okay, I'm there with you because I'm religious. But if you're talking about being hateful and you're hiding behind the fact that the Bible tells you to do that, then why don't you write your own Bible and create your own religion and stop blaming fucking Jesus Christ for you being an ignorant asshole. How about that? Anyway, this has been a Live From Your Mother's Basement production because I'm tired of fighting about this. Leave your comments below if you feel like it. And uh, let me know what you think of this whole thing. I found this on Facebook. And right now, during a time of a hurricane, I really don't think it's necessary. And I think that it's belligerent. That's a big word, guys. I think that it's, it's downright evil and just oppresses society and anybody that would read this shit during this time when people are suffering and they're getting flooded out of their homes and they're losing you know everything it's crap nobody deserves to be treated that way at all if you can't see past that you can't see past your own nose Johnny out